Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you how to make a floral logo in Illustrator and how to make this one more properly or precisely done with the all steps. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the file over here and going to the new options, taking an artboard 20, uh, 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and here is the rgb or cmok color mode whichever do you prefer to do that just because of uh, cmok for the printing purpose rgb for the web purpose which one is uh, your preferences you have to select that choice okay after that hit the create button and then i downloaded a png file from the clean png and then provided the download link in my video description this one is png file the trans transparent background file and the floral or flower whatever it is and after that i'll make it the trace image so how to do that going to the window over here here is the image trace options which is uh, uh, really helpful to do the work properly from here select the preview options from here select the high faded photo okay high fidelity photo and it will take time to render the full process or load the full process for the output it could take uh, several times to do that and after that here is the advanced options if you need you can do the same things or the polish things but i'm satisfied in this result and after that making it expand now this one is no longer png this one is the vector file select the wide area double press over here going to the select options going to the same options and the fill color and the white area will select and delete all the steps at a time and i'm deleting the love react over here only i'm keeping the flower here okay this one is a grouped image and making this one into middle of the artboard and after that going to the ellipse tool making circle like this and make the circle color black and reverse it that means only the stroke thickness and make the stroke 3 pt or 4 pt whatever you do like okay making it smaller so before that you have to select these three or two things into middle alignment properly okay and i'll make this one a little bit smaller that's good and now select this circle that is the stroke mode i'm going to the object option and expand this one and making it into vector form that means that is the fill color form i'll take rectangle and i'll delete this portion selecting these two things making it into middle and press shift m for the shape builders tool here is the shape builders tools actually you can select this one press the alter option button you can delete the portion and done i want to just making it pop up by the outside uh, select the color according to this i would suggest you to select color from here the darker one okay that's fine now time to write down some uh, text which is uh, the name of the logo suppose here is the floral enterprise so making the font size a little bit bigger f l o r l and so here floral enterprise that's good and making the middle alignment making it a little bit bigger choose the font according to whichever do you like i'd suggest to add some vintage or classic type fonts the adolescence and right press and create outline that is no longer font now before that we have to make this one into the gap between two letters uh, 200 right press and create outline and making it middle of the all stops and this one as well here the gap between two letters like this right press and create outline now selecting this and selecting this making it group mark the shortcut keys what i have pressing over here it will help you out to make this one properly okay making it a little bit smaller and making it uh, middle of the artboard and this one a little bit smaller yeah that's fine and i'll keep it into 
right press transform and reflect i'll reflect this one like flip horizontal or vertical and hit okay okay that's fine for that reason we are getting a little bit space in the upper side and the down side okay making it group making this thing into middle of the artboard that is fine all the work and here these two color will be like this yeah actually this color that's fine that is the floral logo for the white background done now going to the artboard and making a copy by pressing option and dragging it out here taking a background square shape i'll make it the darker color like this now sending it to back of the all layers and after that the flower is okay now time to change the text and border into the white color yeah that's fine you are getting the floral logo easily by using the illustrator and that is creative and the trainee floral logo and you can make those things into png format right press and export the selections and export that things into the folder here the asset one and for the black background or dark background and that is for the light background and making it png format okay png is uh, the transparent one and how to place in a photo let's see i have photo like this suppose this type of photo and going to the place embedded options here is the assets okay the background is dark that's why uh, we don't have to use this one that is not good for that uh, we have to use the, the white portion or white version from here going to the place embedded options the white version yeah that's good and you can place it into the photo and here is the opacity controlling you can control the opacity and saving it out as a jpeg so this one is the processed easiest way to make the floral logo in illustrator hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification always stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers Bye bye